Good morning, everyone. I'm here back at Anaheim Convention Center. I'm here today for this thing called DesignCon, which I'm very interested in. And thanks to DesignCon for sending me a press pass so I can review this place, check out, you know, what you guys have to, have to offer. Honestly, I'm here today because of Sony Animation. They're doing a couple of panels there, so I don't want to miss that out. So yeah, here we go. Let's just get this started. Once again, thank you um, DesignCon for, for the press. And don't forget to like and subscribe and everything to, to see all these videos like this in the future. Overall, let's get it started. Ooh, I see eBay. It's eBay. Attention designer con. Just a reminder, don't forget to check out the Sony Animation stage. Celebrating 20 years of Sony Animation. There will be panels, discussions, and more. Brought to you by Adventures in Design. The one and only Mark Pritchie. Schedule for that will be available next to the stage if you need it, or online at the Designer Con website. The hall will be opening up to general attendees in 15 minutes. Ah, I see Sony over there. All right, I found Sony already. Definitely gonna stop by here. As I mentioned, Sony Animation's here, so I cannot miss this. Ooh, it's Maggie. Pixel Empire, oh my god. These guys make these awesome posters for, for all my favorite franchises, especially video games. Yeah, I remember these guys. You know, from Saber Sparks, sponsorship and all that. Oh, hopefully I'll get a sponsorship one day, who knows. Yeah, there's so many to look at right now. It's not as big as the other conventions I went, but it still looks a lot of fun though. Well, what do you know? The Pizza Planet's back. I keep seeing that truck over and over again. Not playing though. Happy to see it again. But yeah, I've been seeing it multiple times now. Still love that truck though. Still love it. Yeah, I think that's the Ninja Turtles van. I believe it's the Ninja Turtles van. It's gotta be. And I see the 2016 Ghostbusters car and I see Sally from Pixar's Cars. Really, not much on the cars department, but you know what? Still looks great though. Still want to check out the Ecto one. Take a couple of shots here over here. Ah, you know I'm a sucker for artists, right? Really do love these people so much. They know their talents, they know their skills, and I relate to them the most, honestly. So here's the timeline of all of Sony Animation all the way till I believe at least 2022, so or 2023, depending on how you look at Spider Verse, you know, the sequel. Oh, I remember I first saw Open Season back in 2006, not knowing what this animation studio can do. I also saw Surf's Up when it was first released. You may remember Chris Buck co directed this one. And Calvary Cloud Chance of Meatballs got Phil Lauren Chris Miller directing this one. This is their, like, their first feature. And you got Hotel to Transylvania, and you got the rest. Got Spider Verse. Like, there's no. I don't think there's a mention of the Emoji Movie around. No, I do not see any Emoji Movie reference. That's crazy. Uh, to Sony, I apologize for referencing that, but you know what? It's not your guys' fault, okay? But yeah, I like to see um, other films that they've done, especially the Smurfs Lost Village, which I thought was an okay movie. A uh, Spider Verse is definitely a masterpiece. Mitchell's a classic right there. Vivo underrated. And Transformania was okay as well. I like Brian Hall's performance as Dracula. But yeah, Across the Spider-Verse looks awesome though. And they have their K-pop movie coming out, which looks so ridiculous that, yeah, I want to see it. I'm not a K-pop person, but I'll definitely see this. Yeah. So yeah, no um, emoji movie reference. It's crazy. Oh wait, I take that back. I found it. Emoji movie. Yeah, I don't see much of their live action stuff here, but though. But yeah, I see emoji movie. I don't think it's as present as he's as expected, you know. But yeah, some of the Armin movies are there, and yeah. Overall, I like this timeline they made. It's pretty cool. 
some more artwork related to, to their upcoming features. Also hair love. I love hair love so much. So yeah, I just bumped into some familiar faces, especially Chris Anderson. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh my God, I mean, this is like a reunion yet again. It's only been a month. Wow, I just can't believe that. I'm reunited with other people again. Really do love everyone here though. Really do. All right, so what you guys are again? for an Asian-based brand. Um, we've been around for about seven or eight years now, and this is the United States debut of everything you see here on the table. It's the global debut of the two UK figures up here. Man, I've never um, seen those figures before. Yeah, no one has ever seen those before. And uh, we do all the, the manufacturing, the sculpting, the design work for, for all of these figures. So we'll take 2D artwork, kind of turn them into 3D objects, right? Ooh. And we're doing some movie style toys over here with artists, limited quantities. Um, actually, the, the cats over here, skateboard cats, uh, is by an artist, Gabby Cash, who's at Decon. She's going to be signing at our booth at 2.30. Uh, at 2.30? She's going to kind of come over here and do signing the, the cats with people on it. Oh, hopefully I'll make it. So, yeah. one. So, that's yeah. uh, that's cool for you. Yeah, as I mentioned, I love those Teletubby figures right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you, you yeah. can pick them up and play with them. Um, yeah, I just want to see them. Those are blind box figures. Uh, the CDUs over here, there's 11 different figures. Um, nice. You buy uh, the whole CDU, you, there's a guarantee to get every single one in there. There's a couple of chase figures, which there's this super awesome, like, pearlescent oyster shell, Lala, with the, with the special ball. There's also the uh, the flocked Tinky Winky who's, who's in there. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Got some Pac-Man stuff here, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Welcome to DesignerCon 2022, day two. So nice to see everybody out here. Who was at the VIP night last night? Okay, well, you're not important anymore, because tonight everybody's here. It's the community day, but thanks for coming out last night. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sitting across from Christine Belson, who is the president of Sony Pictures Animation. Christine, thank you for giving us some time on your Saturday. Thank you so much. Is this thing on? Can you guys hear me? We can. Yes. yes. Um, I'm so excited to be here. This is my first time at uh, Decon. And yeah. I'm super stoked. I can't, I just got here. So as soon as we're done, I get to go walk the floor. You're gonna do your lap? I'm gonna do my lap. I'm gonna buy some stuff. I'm really excited. Honestly, no. Me neither can I. <laughs> I'm so jealous of every kid that's here today. Like, not at all, because my exposure to the entertainment industry was like, sitcoms from the 70s that right. that's where my intersection my, my father uh, was a sitcom writer so it was nothing like this and the the sort of like explosion of art and celebration of art and I see it in my adult kids I have a 23 year old and a 25 year old and the access that they have woo, to art and design yeah it's, it's bonkers we make movies and series and one thing that we always sort of sorry I have to upper lip that we always talk about is um, like Richard Nixon um, is a uh, you know there's no new story under the Sun right? right and like sometimes we talk a lot about originality and um, 
we want so badly to be original, but we also love like IP and in the entertainment industry, everything's so IP driven now. Right. Like it's way easier to get the animated Spider-Man movie or the animated Ghostbusters movie that we're working on. It's easier it's to like get those made than something truly original. We want to do both. That's very much our agenda at our studio. But my point is like, it's the reinterpretation that makes things fresh. Like. There, there are no new stories under the sun. Like every story has been told, it's just telling it differently. Right. And you can take something like Spider-Man, where they've told that story so many different times, and make it fresh all over again. And and that's like the drill. And it's fun. It almost seems like, since the internet explosion, we've gone back and honored stories that were told before the internet explosion. Back when you could get everybody's attention. Do you think that we're at a moment now where I know that you guys do still do original stories, but is it so much harder because the world's moving so much faster to like get that moment where you can get people's attention again on a new project? My, my answer to this is a little bit contradictory. Like, on the one hand, you're right, the cycle is so fast. Like, we talk about this a lot in terms of marketing. Like in the olden days, and by olden days, I literally mean five years ago. Yeah. Like in those olden days, <laughs> we would talk about like long lead marketing and how you don't try to, how you would try to get something out in the public consciousness like a year in advance and start sowing those seeds. No one does that anymore. It's like, no, let's start talking to the audience about whatever it is literally a month or two out right. because people can't retain this stuff. So there's that. But on the other side, something that's been discussed a lot is in the pandemic, everybody stayed home and they watched a lot of stuff and they watched a lot of storytelling and serialized storytelling. And like, they got really engaged in long form yes. stories. Yes. And so like both those things are true. The Marvel thing, it's that's what it's all about is those are on a huge scale that's serialized storytelling yes. that they're doing over like a decade, right? Whether you're getting it 90 minutes at a time or 10 episodes at 45 minutes yeah. at a time. Yeah, yeah. And, and and so for us, yeah, it's it's actually hard. It's really hard to get all that character storytelling in a, in animated movies tend to be shorter. So it is, it is hard. So we always are thinking about the next movie, the next chance to tell the story. The dream scenario is the movie and the series that follows, that continues right. saga. Everybody knows that if a brand already exists, yeah. you're gonna have an easier time with the ancillary stuff, right? The the theme parks, the, the consumer products. But then to say the obvious thing, if you never do anything original, you'll never start a new piece of IP. That's, that's <laughs> so you have to problem, do right? both. Well, it's even interesting because, you know, we're talking about you know, one of the biggest studios in the entertainment industry in the world, but in these one-man shops behind us, which could also be a woman, uh, you will see people will make a rip-off of Mickey Mouse or Spider-Man because it's a proven win that gets people's attention, and then they're trying to slide the original in. So, you know, we're all playing this game, whether it's millions of dollars or thousands of dollars that are on the line. I would love to know, though, when you were in live action and you learned how to manage those projects, how different was it? When, I mean, I think your first big one was How to Train Your Dragon. Like, when you walk into that world, how different is animated than live? It, it, so some things are the same. And as you said, started in live action. Um, that I built my career as a live action producer and studio exec. Um, and in some ways, the tenets are the same. A great story is a great story, no matter what. You know, and it's weird, people don't talk as much about taste, but like taste is a real thing and having mm -hmm. good taste and having the instinct to sort of pick the people that can make great stuff versus people that aren't gonna make great stuff is important whether you're in live action or animation. Character is king, no matter what the medium. I was getting increasingly interested in animation because I had kids. I had never grown up watching animation. Like most people grew up watching Looney Tunes and all this stuff. I had like a hippie mom, I didn't have a TV, I didn't get to see much hold stuff. Up. Your family oh. was doing TV scripts. No, sorry, hold on. Divorce. Oh. Dad, here in LA, being a classic 
L.A. sitcom writer and everything that you think that might imagine in the okay, 70s. Okay, okay, I was very confused. Um, and then my mom was like, bailed on all that, took baby me, she's Swedish by birth, and was like, we're out of here, and we just started this kind of nomadic, hippie existence that lasted for about 10 years. Started watching Miyazaki movies, and was <laughs> like, oh my god. There's a whole world out there. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's so beautiful, it's so extraordinary, and also, Pixar was just starting to fire off, and you're like, What's that about? Why are those movies so good? They're yeah. so much better than all the other live action movies. So I got I interested, and right around that time, a good friend of mine was at DreamWorks Animation and called up and said, hey, we're looking for somebody uh, to run development. You want to come over here? And uh, I, I went and started talking to them and um, realized, man, oh man, I really want to do this. And, and then I, I went there and I, I ran development for a few years and then I transitioned into producing. So I just got off from the Sony Animation panel with, with the president and she's so nice. Oh my God. Usually I don't, I don't talk much about higher ups because, you know, they're just doing the business side of it. But she does actually care about Sony Animation. I mean, she started to do there since 2015, I believe. I mean, started off roughly with the Emoji Movie. Once it gets better, they seriously got better with their animated features. I mean, it's one of my favorite mediums. Can't complain, you know? So yeah, Christine's such a nice person. I mean, she really wants me to join Sony Animation. I'll just submit my portfolio and everything and hopefully I get hired with them. I mean, I mean, people at Disney Animation are really helpful too. They did have awesome advice and everything. So does Sony. I mean, they're both fantastic um, people, no matter what. I mean, Christine's just surprised that I met so many people, especially Phil Lord and Jason Reitman, which they're both working at Sony right now for, for their upcoming features, especially Ghostbusters. And I don't know whatever Phil Lord's going to do for, for Sony. I don't know. But they're going to clone high, so I'm already meet up with other people. Sanders here at Designer Con. We're at our booth and just uh, this is our very first time, so uh, we're enjoying it. Also, our first time, so it's doing pretty well. Yeah, can you do the stitch voice? People keep asking me that. I won't be doing the stitch today. Sorry yeah, that. no, that's okay. Because my friend, my fans keep asking me like if uh, I ever see them again. Yeah, not, not yeah. sorry, fans. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Hello. Hey, How's it going today? Yay, it's Brianna from my previous videos. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, especially yeah. Chris Sanders. Yes. Yeah, I met him twice. I can't believe I met him twice. I love his artists so good. Yeah, that's yeah. what I love doing, like coming around the show and just seeing all the music and different artists. They're so talented. Yeah, especially the higher ups at Sony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna come back a little later to them because they're doing Pictionary. Oh nice. And I want to join in. Oh, that fun. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Brianna. Thank you. Looks like there's a mini carnival happening around here. Look, some hoops as well. Usually I'm not really a, much of a carnival guy, but hey, this looks fun though. I mean, great place to relax and lounge for a bit, you know. All, all so on and so forth. But there's no prizes, so I'm not going to win some good stuff, you know. <laughs> it looks fun though, it looks fun. Ooh, it's a really nice design over there. How creative. It's really well done. Yeah, just showing you the rest before before I do other things before I get home, you know? Overall, this is a fun convention. It's really fun. Definitely definitely meet up other artists like me over here. Just like um, Lightbox, you know? Joined on the stage today by four talented 
storyboard artist from Sony Pictures Animation. The two are also directors. They've worked on some really fun projects I'm sure you guys are fans of. We'll get to talk to them, but what we're gonna do is I thought it would be fun since Sony lent out to me four of their best illustrators. Wouldn't it be fun to see how pros would play Pictionary? So in our Lincoln Design Co. hat, I have a, a selection of movies that they picked, but they don't know which movie they're gonna pull out of the hat. We're gonna put five minutes up on the board, and we're gonna try to guess what movie that they are illustrating out one single cell from. Whoever gets it gets one of these signed and, and printed fine art prints from Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, which will be coming out in theaters next summer. And if you get it early, we're still gonna keep the five minutes on the board because I literally wanna see what these folks are capable of. Guillermo was our big champion last year, so he's going first. Guillermo was the head of story on Mitchells vs. the Machines. Yeah, he yeah. also has a project in development that he's directing for Sony. Are you ready? Can we flip the screen into landscape? We're, we're flipping. Don't worry, we're flipping. So last year you were our big champion in the storyboard duel. I completely forgot that I was the champion. <laughs> See how much it meant to him? You gonna look at the trophy every morning that we gave you? Oh, the trophy? Yeah, oh yeah, that was a lovely trophy. <laughs> Can you turn the iPad through, Sam? Does that work? Do you have your iPad orientation locked? Are you good with like this? Oh, school! School! Who knew? Yes. All right, are you ready to do your first draw? You're the champion, you're going first, and only you will know this. I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock, and if you think you know it, put a hand up. You ready to go? First off, hold that microphone real quick. Hello? Are you aware of this movie? Yes. You know this movie. I know this movie. Are you a fan of this movie? I love this movie. All right, well then let's see how much you love it in five minutes. All right. Let's go. So five minutes are on the board. Let's see what Guillermo knocks out for us first. He was head of story with Mitchells vs. the Machine, and he's currently directing a feature over at Sony Animation. Head of story is the person that takes the script, visualizes it, puts it together. So we see him already creating a horizontal plane, the rule of thirds, right? You wanna go ahead, oh, zoom is zoom. The rule of thirds is already creating a horizon line. These lines taking our eyes into the main object, which so far looks like spy versus spy. Now he's going over his green line. Who doesn't know this? Uh-oh. Looks like Spy vs. Spy head, right? All right, so we're seeing our first character come in. You think you know this? Do you mind coming up here to me? Or do I gotta come to you? I'll meet you halfway. You're number two if she doesn't have it. He keeps going, you're looking hesitant. You're looking hesitant as he goes further. What's your name? Can you step away from the speaker? What's your name, Angela? Angela. Your name's Angela, Angela? Yeah. What do you think it is? I thought it was it. Is it it? No, I don't think it's It is not it. Thank you so much. You don't know it either? You thought it was it too. It's not just Sony movies, it's all movies. You think you know? Uh oh. He's introduced a second character. What's your name? Uh, Cameron. Cameron, what do you think that you and I are looking at? Uh, Paranorman? Not Paranorman. Not it. You thought it was that too, right? Yeah. Back here. Can you come up a little bit, sir? Let's see what your guess is as he's working. Oh, oh I know which one this is now. <laughs> yeah. what you... That's Evil Dead? Yeah. My man, Evil Dead. Let me get you one of these Spider-Verse posters. 
This is one that you picked, right, Garibo? Yeah, but they see the, the skeleton of them. Somebody draws over it a couple of times. I got it, guys. All right. We're done here. And oh we will God. be back up here on this stage at 5.30 when they will duel against one another. And we'll have some more stuff to give away. Hi. Yeah, good job, you guys. You guys did great. Thanks again for the poster. It's been a wonderful time being here. Hopefully I'll join you guys one day. Who knows? <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, we well, you know. It's Random Man. Weston himself. Yeah, yeah. He's right here. It's right there. There's yeah. Random Man. There he is. I see him. <laughs> there was a Random Man right over there. <laughs> I love you videos, man. Thank you, dude. It's nice to meet you. I nice like your hat. You. Thank you. It's got eyes. Yeah. Right there. All right, so before I go, I just want to mention about their upcoming features and shows they're doing. Agent King it looks like it was made by Robert Valley from, from Love, Dev, and Robots, which I do love so much. So it looks like an Elvis Presley series. Young Love, which is a follow-up to Hair Love. Fix, R-rated film by Guinea Tartakovsky. I might have talked about it before. And yes, we're getting a Ghostbusters animated feature. Not only that, but also an animated series. So we're going back to its roots with Ghostbusters cartoons. But we're getting an animated feature with Ghostbusters, which I'm very excited for. So yeah, forgot to mention these. And yeah, that'll be all. Okay, guys, that's about it for now. I just want to say is to, to DesignCon, thank you for, for the press once again. And yeah, I really do enjoy on ZineCon a lot. It's a lot of fun reuniting with other artists and meeting some new ones. Very fun. I mean, it's amazing. I enjoyed it so much. And thanks to Sony Animation for, for actually giving me some advice to help me with, with my animation career. I gotta say, Sony is pretty helpful in this one. Yeah, even meeting the storyboard artists, getting the free Spider-Verse poster, which looks pretty awesome. So yeah, that's all I can say. Special thanks to everyone that were in this vlog, especially the other filmmakers and artists that I previously mentioned. Sorry, I lost brain cells for this one. But you know what, guys? Thanks for watching, and yeah, as I mentioned, comment, subscribe, and all that. Yeah, whatever you guys want to interact with me. Social media as well, Patreon, you know. You can help me out a little dollar a month. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys whatever. See ya.